Alright, so in this video I'll be showing you how to pass data from one activity to another activity. So the first step is to, in your uh, function where you create the button, my button is called login. So you have to create a new bundle, and this bundle is used to store the values that you pass from one activity to another. And here we have some of the edit text uh, values that we can store. So username is one of them, that's going to be the one that I'm working on. So first we declare a string called name and that converts uh, the get text to string of our username so we can store that into our string and we, we can use the bundle command bundle.putString to place the name into our name so it takes the first parameter it is the key and then the second parameter is the value that we want to pass to the key and this key right here we'll have to reference this later on in the activity that receives this value and the next step is to create an intent so you create an intent and I call it pass to friends and you create a new intent the first parameter is your current class which is this and your target class in this case my target class is friends.class that's the class that I'm passing the data to so next you, you, you call your object pass to friends and you call dot put extras inside is your bundle object and that ships the bundle to the friends class and finally to do the actual shipping you need to call start activity pass to friends and that will pass the data to your friends class so inside friends.java you need to receive the package so you also need to create another bundle and here you can call it uh, the same value bundle and you have to call get intent which gets the intent from the parent class and then call dot get extras to receive the bundle and you, have to, you obviously have to store this into a value in this case I just called it a uh, string username and then you say bundle dot get string name and that's the key that we use in our parent class and that would store that value into uh, username and then this username is uh, a local variable and you can use it however you want and in this case I just created a text view and that displays the username so if we go to our emulator here I can click login uh, no, just kidding so stop the video real quick